So if this is left with 175, it means we have cleared this first row. We've cleared this column, we've cleared this column, and we are left with 18, 14, 24, 13. And you follow suit with the smallest unit cost, and you have the final structure which you're seeing here. And in the end, you will compute for the smallest, I mean, the total minimum cost. And the total minimum cost will give birth to what you are about to see now, which is 12,825. To test for degeneration, the number of rows plus number of column minus one, if not equals to number of occupied cells, the solution is degenerate, otherwise non-degenerate. We checked through this and were able to establish that it is a non-degenerate solution. In the second example, we also consider an unbalanced situation. This is unbalanced. We make it balanced in the first instance. In the first place, you have to make it balanced. Then you apply the LCM. After we have been able to apply the LCM, we, we have this. And you can see what we have looks co so colorful. Following the previous pattern, determine the smallest unit cost. If you are watching this video for the first time, or if you have not been able to subscribe, kindly do that please. Thumbs up and press the notification bell so that you enjoy more videos. And finally, we do the computation for the total minimum cost for that unbalanced transportation problem. And that gives birth to 760. We test for degeneration. We establish that it is a non-degenerate solution. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now.